um, what we've built, a, a service, actually product that's run as a service uh, for monitoring performance uh, of various things. Uh, as you can see over there, it's called, we call it SPM. I'm not sure if you'll keep the name. Um, uh, but uh, we monitor, uh, this is a tool that uh, helps you monitor operating system um, metrics, the JVM metrics, and then a set of metrics for uh, different, specific different technologies that we've uh, chosen to sort of target first. Uh, so we have a company's name is Sematex, and we do a lot of, uh, we have a lot of customers who use uh, solar, so that's the first technology that we decided to uh, monitor. Uh, so the, the reason I think this may be interesting to you is because it's handy for monitoring solar, which lots of you use, and handy for monitoring HBase, which is another technology which we, uh, which we use and we use internally. Um, and very often when I see uh, people talk about HBase, <laughs> there was recently a, a blog post on Cloudera uh, of something about HBase, and I counted the number of times the word monitor appeared in the post. It was 10 times, and um, yet, I know people use Ganglia for monitoring, but I personally uh, don't find it that great of a, of a, of a tool. Uh, so I, I think we tried um, to improve, to, to build a better, better tool than what you get from Ganglia, by using Ganglia. Um, so behind this is uh, um, HBase. Uh, this HBase is used for storing all this data and retrieving it, of course. Um, and uh, Flume uh, is uh, used for, as a mechanism to get the data from uh, the application itself to, um, to us, which is a, it's not only Flume, there's a, a, a certain component we call Sender that runs on a client server and it takes uh, data, sends it to, to us over HTTP, where again we use Flume uh, to collect the data and uh, push it into HBase. Uh, and then we run aggregates, uh, map produce jobs uh, that produce aggregates and store this data uh, in some more compact format that's faster for retrieval. Um, so I'll just uh, show you what this thing does. So up here, you can, as a user of this, you can register multiple systems. We have two. This PH is a, um, what we call Project Hub, which is um, the search-hadoop.com and search-lucene.com, those two sites uh, run solar and uh, we monitor that. So that's, that's pH system. The SPM is this system itself, so it's monitoring itself kind of recursively. Um, and um, so as a user, you'd have different system. You'd say which type of a system you have. In this case, we registered a system called pH and we said it's uh, of the type solar. So you can monitor these various uh, things. So the OS is obviously know, the uh, CPU and memory, load, network, I.O. writes, broken down by disk, and so on. Um, this is sort of the main chart that represents some time range, which you can, um, you can select uh, here or, or down with the specific filters. Uh, and below that is a chart that shows you sort of a, lo a longer period of time, which... Uh, we think may be useful uh, to people who, you know, ops people or DevOps people. Then there's JVM, that's the, I don't know how fast things will be here. Um, the JVM staff, uh, staff um, memory heap, uh, garbage collection, um, times, threads. Uh, and then the interesting stuff, uh, which is technology specific. So um, this is about solar, so we can see stats about solar. And this is something I n I've never seen anywhere, um, even in solar itself. It's hard to tell. Uh, what can you tell from solar admin page? I don't think you can, you cannot tell how many, I think, segments there are in the index or how many files. You can tell how many documents there are. So this thing uh, gives you insight uh, into what's going on at the Lucene index level, actually. So this is, a, this is showing us that there are a few hundred thousand documents. Uh, this delta here actually shows you how many documents have been marked as deleted uh, in the index but have not been uh, purged. Uh, when you optimize a solar index, this delta disappears. And as seg as uh, Lucene segments get merged, this number changes. Uh, so it's, this is actually useful for people who want to understand Lucene at that level to 
have a visual representation of what's going on while the index is being, while the index is being changed. How, um, maybe even down here actually, um, how files are added, uh, how the number of segments uh, changes, how the size of the index changes. So for instance, you'll see this index just goes up, I mean, it can go up and down. Even though uh, we're not adding new documents because of how how Lucene and Solar work about uh, how they do updates, which, is, which means that they delete documents and add, the index size actually fluctuates. Uh, so it's good to know, uh, be aware of this when you're uh, benchmarking, when you're performance tuning and so on. It's good to see what's actually at the index level. Um, this shows us how long it takes to warm up a searcher in Solar which is a valuable piece of information. Uh, sometimes I know our customers, some of them just don't warm up solar because they don't actually know that they need to. So if you see a flat line with nothing there, it's a sign that, hey, they're not doing something right. They, they forgot to warm up uh, their searcher. Uh, this shows you um, what percentage of time went to. You can warm up a searcher, you can warm up caches, you can warm up um, something else. Um, different caches. So you can see the breakdown of, of the warm-up here, which is uh, valuable for when you're configuring solar. Uh, the kind of key thing is how fast the search is, uh, how many requests uh, you're getting. So this is all here. And you can see on the right side, uh, those of you who use solar know there are, there are hand different search handlers, so you can look at different search handlers and see how, um, how, each, how fast each of them is. Um, and let's see. Uh, for optimizing, working on solar performance, caches are crucial. Uh, so this get, tells you what's going on with your caches, what they're, how big they are, uh, what their utilization is like. Um, so here we see that the, the hit rate is pretty bad. So you may want to actually turn that cache off and, and see how performance changes. In our case, because of you know, the, the profile of the site, actually doesn't make any difference, but it can make a difference. Um, here we can see the document ca cache is well used, uh, and these gaps, uh, I believe, correspond to um, auto commit frequency. Um, and filter cache is something that you want to have high utilization on, and this, this thing actually shows that that's what's happening. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Bug. Um, and then quickly, uh, switching over to uh, a system that uh, we use for the system that's age-based that we monitor. And let's see. Um, it, th this, these are different solar uh, uh, age-based metrics. Um, and uh, the new thing here is besides, uh, obviously, age-based specific stuff is that I have an example where you can select multiple servers here. And those are the graphs that you saw in Alex's presentation earlier. Uh, you can select mul multiple of these slaves, let's say these three, um, and see how they behave. Sorry, it's a little slow. There should be multiple lines there, I don't know. But anyhow, that's the tool. So uh, it's, uh, it's, we are polishing it, and we took those two uh, projects uh, that resulted uh, from work on this, and also on uh, search analytics. Uh, work that's, that uses the same framework for sending data, aggregating data, and using HBase and Flume. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Otis. So. so what we set up, is there any small question? No? Okay. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, sure. Otis, is this available? Uh, soon. Tuesday. Okay. No, uh, soon, soon, soon. Uh, we just need to, obviously, there are some, some issues here, but yeah, it's mostly done. Yeah. There's, there's some polishing to do around registration and things like that, but the back end is more or less done. Yeah. And what will the basis of distribution be? Uh, so this will be, this will be the deployed as a software as a service, and uh, there will be different plans, and one of them will obviously be free. Just like for search analytics, it's going to be the same thing, free and different plans, depending on various things. <laughs>